The big cultural shift that's happened is that um, church and culture are marching in completely different directions. So up until the 1950s, let's say, um, we could almost say that the church formed the culture in which we lived. Now the truth is that we are constantly living in reaction to the culture. So church and culture are moving in completely different directions. And the difficulty for us is to uh, figure out um, how on earth do we connect with culture again? Not to compromise, but to think through um, what, are the, what are the needs? And the reality is that in terms of, of Western culture, two things are happening simultaneously that seem to be completely contradictory. One is that people are increasingly identifying themselves as non-churched, agnostic, possibly even atheist, while at the same time expressing a tremendous longing for spiritual things. Now, <laughs> those things seem to be contradictory, but they're, they're part of the reality, uh, the cultural crisis that people are living with. And somehow we've got to be able to figure out how do we connect with people who live like that? Often people will say, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. And the church is seen as being part of a religious system. Well, actually, we would probably want to say, we're not a system. We too want to connect with that which is deeply spiritual. So we've got some work to do to be able to have that conversation with people, but there is an opportunity.